Hello guys, welcome. I'm back. It's me, Mama Rika. Now, uh, I'm telling you guys that I'm doing my latest and traditions and modern techniques of how to create a dress for the Mary Magdalene. So, I combine the traditions, the modern techniques, it because it gives me a lot of ideas. It's helped me a lot become easier and uh, easy to manifest the design so it's been doing this for every year ever since that I've been uh, uh, become one of the creator of the dress of the Mary Magdalene here in Himdang Philippines so I'm very proud and very thankful because God has always given me a, a great time and a good health for me so I'm very thankful for a lot of everything uh, guys I'm going to show you how to apply in different ways in this one but for now I've done already for my first panel or my applique for the Mary Magdalene's dress so here they are guys this is applique that it's for the arm of the Mary Magdalene so I've been designing thing for almost almost a month uh, I'm not yet done already applying some of the details of this dress so I hope you enjoy it guys when you see this one it's been been using for this coming holy holy week holy week for this year 2020 so this is one of the uh, highlights and uh, uh, Lenten seasons here in the Philippines so I really really exciting that this works will come out that's nice and it's uh, pretty so i'm grateful because i have always a time for doing this every year so i give them this i uh, know a special day for me to create uh, a beautiful dress for the mary magdalene so now i'm applying the the sequins and the beads so if you see guys I almost uh, done with this a traditional flower uh, this flower is I've been uploaded already how to create this kind of flowers uh, a simple flower that gives a lot of uh, designs and textures when you are creation creating something different so I made this a lot just for the saint, for Mary Magdalene. So I'm using guys uh, sequins and beads also, and this sequins just to co to combine the textures and the color for the dress of Mary Magdalene. So usually guys, I um, use Sarovsky crystal to enhance the, the modernize this dress. So usually guys, when you're creating uh, a dress like this, if you always think always that the design itself, the structures of the applique, of this uh, kind of applique, it's usually a tradition. So I'm only using a modern materials uh, and old fashions uh, materials so that it can give uh, the dress uh, sophistication when it comes to the time that it wear by the saint of by the saint so you know giving us an opportunity to create a dress it's really fulfilling guys when it's already made or done it's grateful it's very very grateful I'm grateful for giving this and uh, done this dress every year so it give me such an opportunity I 
I'm gonna show you guys the full designs of this dress. So as of now, I done yet my skirt applique and uh, the body part. I done already. I show you guys. So now I'm just uh, done this uh, for the arm. This is the first part of the arm design for the sleeve. So by the way, for the sleeve. All the procedures that I use is I show you already. I made a video, guys, so you can uh, show them uh, some of my upload videos on my channel, so you can uh, watch the video already that I uploaded. I upload all the videos that I have done for these years because I've been starting using. Uh, social media like YouTube and, and Facebook so I've been uh, try to see this uh, how work it's done and so by the way guys using the basha door or oh, this way usually guys they, they call it bashador. This kind of wood pan, uh, wood frame is, they call this bashador. So, this is bashador, guys. So, I'm gonna show you how it look like. So, this is the bashador, guys. So, this is a wood frame that hold left and right and both four-sided are already stretched the cloth so that it can help you easily to work with with the basha door or their I know, wood frame so it's help a lot so it is a traditional way uh, how to use this um, and a kind of designing especially for the big technique of using applique or creating applique or design guys this is the skirt design so this is a very huge design that is for the lower part of the skirts of the Mary Magdalene so I done this already guys uh, it's take me more than one month to create this one and how to apply this because it's each of every details of the design of this I stitches all of them are handmade uh, I stitches them from back in front so it is really a uh, top job so when you create this one so I'm using um, uh, sequins and beads here uh, beads and of course a flower so this flower creates uh, textures and gives some designs and outlooks to enhance the color so it's really 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 nice so the the overall uh, design of this is this is exactly the way that I've been uh, putting on the skirt of the Mary Magdalene so uh, when I've done this I'm going to use a uh, wood putty at the uh, no, adhesive uh, adhesive at the back so just to protect the, the thread on the back of this the designs because the back of the design is this we need to protect them because sometimes when you're applying this direct to the final this final skirt when you're applying this a giant applique it's need to protect the thread at the back so I'm going to show you guys the back of this design so now guys I'm going to show you the back of the uh, lace that the, the thread should need to protect while before you uh, remove the design or the applique lace through this uh, basha door or this uh, no, uh, cloth okay so here or at the back so when you see there is a lot of thread here here so every thread so this is usually uh, used for to protect so we're going to use an adhesive at the back all of them 
all the designs of this at the back you need to put an adhesive to, just to protect the thread not moving at all so it's, they they can stay as is where they are so when you put at this design so when you are creating this kind of uh, lace you should protect at the back first so before you removing the designs itself from the base cloth so it's really really important you should protect the back because the thread can be moved automatically when it loose so you need to put some uh, uh, adhesive at the back so cloth adhesive so this is usually nice so here's the back guys so now guys if this kind of the designs is really really important when you are applying direct to the final skirt okay so I'm going to show you the whole designs of this and the part of my lace design okay okay guys I'm going to show you the whole designs of my applique it's as you can see at the my back is this the designs already this is the whole bachador so I'm using this a very very big uh, bash of doors just to create this kind of the design so there are the design itself so we can just show guys those are sequins beads and uh, different materials that I use so I made it personally the rose of the flower wrap so it's give me a, a beautiful outlook when this the design itself so here's for the skirt this is only for the skirt design so if you can see this is all all is handmade so this is the uh, body part so this is the body part this lace is for the body part so you can see that guys and this guys is for the arm or the sleeve part design so this is really nice and good looking at all so guys i hope that i give you some ideas how to create this magnificent a simple but elegant applique for your project thanks if usually if you are using or creating something different so it's really really nice i'm going to update that guys when it's done already so please don't forget subscribe my channel and i hope it can help you a lot and give you some ideas thank you and bye bye